cannabinoid pharmacology and synthetic cannabinoids. In this section, we discuss cannabinoid pharmacology, cannabinoid receptors and endogenous ligands, and synthetic cannabinoids, what they are and their effects. Modern cannabinoid research stems from elucidation of the structure of THC by Raphael Mishulam and colleagues in the 1960s. By the early 1990s, the molecular biology of cannabis was worked out. There were receptors or neurons termed CB1 receptors. This is where THC was producing its effects. If a receptor for a drug like THC exists in the body, there are likely to be natural cannabis molecules as well. These were soon discovered. The brain has a natural inbuilt cannabinoid system or endocannabinoid system. Since then, it has become clear that the endocannabinoid system is involved in neuronal communication, plasticity and learning in neuronal networks. Cannabinoid CB1 receptors are expressed mainly in the CNS and mediate many of the psychoactive effects of cannabinoids. There's another receptor called the CB2 receptor, which is expressed mainly in the immune system and in blood cells. The best known endogenous cannabinoid receptor ligands are anandamide and 2-arachidonylglycerol or 2-AG for short. The exogenous cannabinoid agonists such as THC do not recreate the fine-grained effects of the endogenous cannabinoids. The spatial and time profile of endogenous cannabinoid signaling is tightly controlled. In contrast, THC administered exogenously floods the system indiscriminately and network functions such as information processing and memory are disrupted by exogenous CB1 agonists such as THC. Adverse effects on network dynamics underlie the psychological effects of cannabinoids. From a pharmacological standpoint, synthetic cannabinoids are full agonists at the cannabinoid receptor, whereas THC is a partial agonist. Synthetic cannabinoids have been called legal highs. This includes a range of substances that can be purchased online and were initially produced by research laboratories exploring potential medical uses. Some examples include HU210, the HU series being originally developed at the Hebrew University in Israel, and JWH018. The JWH series was originally developed by JW Huffman. These molecules are sprayed onto cannabis plants. These products are known and sold as spice and K2. While synthetic cannabinoids are full agonists at CB1 receptors, THC is known to be a partial agonist. As such, the synthetic cannabinoids impact upon this cannabinoid CB1 receptor with much greater force and produce a correspondingly much greater effect on the psyche. These molecules are even stronger than Sinsamilla. In London, we are now beginning to see more and more cases of psychosis attributable to synthetic cannabinoids. Catatonic posturing, bizarre behaviour, grandiosity, persecutory ideation, disinhibition and aggression are common elements of synthetic cannabinoid toxicity. Furthermore, the synthetic cannabinoids are not detected in standard urine drug screens. Tachycardia, palpitations and chest pain can be associated features pointing to the correct diagnosis. 
One worry is that the synthetic cannabinoids may be so powerful as to overwhelm the stabilising properties of antipsychotic medication, even in injectable form. Quite often, the only solution is to admit patients to hospital to allow respite from such potent cannabinoids. The endocannabinoid system consists of receptors, CB1 and CB2 receptors, endogenous ligands, anandamide, and 2-arachidonyl glycerol. Synthetic cannabinoids are full agonists at the CB1 receptor, and their effect is even stronger than Sinsamilla. The presence of cardiovascular symptoms can help identify synthetic cannabinoid toxicity.